Welcome to the Creating Gradebook Schemes demo. In this demo, you will learn how to create a customized grade scheme, which determines what letter grade is associated with what percentage. For example, 90 to 100 is associated with an A. At the end of this demo, you will be able to create a customized grade scheme that is different from the standard Midlands Technical College grade scheme and make it your default. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the Grade Course Navigation Bar, click on the Grades link. Click on the Schemes tab near the top of the page. Now you can see all of the grade schemes currently available to your course, as well as the default scheme that is currently selected. You can click on any of the MTC standard schemes to see its grading range. Before you create your customized grade scheme, write down the grades you want to use and what point ranges will be associated to that grade. For example, 0 to 69.9 is an F and 70 to 84.9 is a B and 85 to 100 is an A. Remember that the computer will not round grades. At the top, click on the New Grade Scheme button to create a new grade scheme. Under the General section, give the scheme a name in the Name field. This one will be called ABF. Under the Ranges section, in the Symbol column, you enter the letter grades you want to use. Make sure you enter the lowest grade first. The lowest grade for this system is an F. Note that the range already starts at zero. The range of every grade will be between the start percent box up to but not include the start percentage of the next box. Next, enter the next lowest grade symbol. In this system, it is a B. The range that a B starts is 70. In the start percent column, enter in the number value for when that grade letter starts, which is 70. Next, enter the next lowest grade. In this system, it is an A. The range that an A starts is 85. Enter this in the Start Percent column. In this scheme, any grade that falls between 0 and 69.9999999 is assigned an F. Any grade that falls between 70 and 84.99999 is assigned a B. Any grade that is 85 or above is assigned an A. If your system needs more fields for more grades, enter in the number you need in the Add Ranges text box, and then click on the Add Ranges link. If you find that you have too many ranges, click on the Delete button at the end of the row to remove that row. In the Color column, you can assign a color to each value by clicking on the drop-down arrow and then on the color you choose. Colors are optional. In the Assigned Value column, if you have a select box grade item, not a numeric grade item, this is the point value students will receive when you assign them the symbol from the select box. This means that if you assign a paper a B, then the computer will use this value when calculating the overall score. You might want to assign value for an F to be a 50, a B to a 78, and an A to be 94. If you leave this column blank, the start values will be automatically used. 
and assigning someone an F with zero points will dramatically hurt their overall grade. If you are using all numeric grade items, you do not need to fill in the assigned value column. When you are finished, click the Save button. Now, to make the scheme you created your default scheme, click on the gray check mark next to the title in the Set as Default column. Click OK or Yes in the pop up box. Note that the green check mark moves to the scheme you selected. You have now successfully created a gradebook scheme and set it as your default.